What is going on guys? Today we are looking at the squad foundations for this gentleman right here. We have got another center mid and I'm glad that they've decided to do, f what is it, five squad foundation cards because you have technically three in the foundation side of it with the squad battles. You have this little extra one which is the online version and then you have the SBC card. So it is quite nice to be able to do, um, personally for the Eredivisier one with Macintosh, I think it was his name. Um, we've already done him so we've already got that online done and we're about halfway through with the squad battles. So again, like this we are going to run through the team. I did them uh, kind of together for the Eredivisier which I kind of like to, to separate them as much as possible. So obviously if you are looking personally for him you're not having to search through the video to find it so i thought you know what we'll have a look at him kind of give him a little rating as well kind of based off should you do him um personally he was or at least on the bench for my team right now he is a three star four star six footed high high work rates with outside of the foot on his traits and in terms of midfield to be honest i've been really really impressed with these squad for uh, squad foundation cards i think they genuinely have done absolute wonders for them so if you are kind of new and you've not seen the prior or the previous video with the Liga Portugal squad foundations SBC SBC squad battles always get them wrong you have got Rafa you've got the left back and you've also got a center back alongside that we also have a squad builder challenge with my man if I can find him Banza. Uh, to be honest, I, I, I didn't know who they were going to choose, but again, they've done pretty well. A four-star, four-star, French 88 pace, 88 shooting. Obviously, some good physicality. Honestly, really can't complain about him. Obviously, the composure only being 80, I think that is relatively fine still at the moment. Would like a little bit more agility balance, so maybe an engine might be something that we're looking for for him. Um, unfortunately, no player traits, but again, not necessarily terrible. An 83 and an 84, so relatively cheap to get done. And I can imagine a lot of people will get him done first to then go into this online battle. So always check that because David Neres was one of them ones that was a little bit more out of people's price ranges straight off the bat from a, a hero and an icon SBC, which as you can see right there. Whereas I think an 83 and an 84 is definitely more plausible straight off the bat to then help you in the challenge. So in terms of what you have to do for this guy, then I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same or if not pretty much the same as yesterday's so score using Liganos players in six separate uh, matches again pretty standard assists four goals with Liga Portuguese players with minimum seven in the team that's always important and as and what we got score six finesse goals so again finesse is it's not necessarily that difficult and win four so again the max matches you have to do is six you have to win four of them six you have to score six finesses in uh, one of them in two of them in three of them or in all six of them as long as you get six in total and then obviously four assists within that as well so the main thing is scoring once every single time and that is about it that literally is all you need to do for this card and i think yes a hundred percent you must be doing these it's an extra amount of cards going into the club so this is my personal uh league nos team at the moment this is obviously his first gold card so that is the guy you're going to be trying to get um personally i think this will definitely do judging from kind of yesterday's there was a few people with david Neres, but there was far too many people without him so i think personally you're going to be absolutely fine maybe yes you might want to go gold for maybe a center back and a goalkeeper but personally for me i think that's going to be relatively okay um that is a 79 rated team as well if we were to put the striker on i would obviously have to drop somebody i would just drop the bench to a silver because that's one thing that i didn't mention yesterday because i totally missed it i really didn't notice that it was uh, available for silvers as well i looked at it as managerial masterpiece where you see um oh it says 74 now i thought it says bronze but basically oh here it is football foundations bronze players exactly zero i read it as bronze and silver so that is my bad you can have silvers um on your bench so you can have 65 rated across the board which will drop the rating dramatically so you do need a 78 rated cat uh, chemistry um obviously you need seven from the same league so it does need you to have that in um obviously if we literally just went right now and just what got 
X amount of silvers out. So if we just show you what I mean by the silvers. So we have obviously quite a few silvers that we can just whack here. Um, and we will just take out a few that we're not going to be using anyway. So we can just swap them over. So if you remember, it was a 79 rated team. As soon as you whack these, we can already see that it's gone to 77. It more than likely will drop down at least one more potentially with this gold going. Yeah, so we've got a 76 rated team. So personally for me, I will obviously go and get that striker. Obviously, we do have some silvers on the bench as well. So I'm not too concerned about that. But I think realistically, getting this striker will always give you that little bit of a benefit. Um, if we can just high to low, that's perfect. And we can get Banzer in the team. 77 rated. So we could go ahead and go get a goalkeeper as well if we wanted. And a centre back. Obviously, the right back has got pace for days. So I'm absolutely happy with that. But that's the team. I, I think really you don't need too much better than that. Um, personally for me, Wendell may actually be chucked if he does go up anymore. Because I literally bought him for about 10k just kind of randomly i didn't really kind of have him for any uh, specific reason but everybody's going to be going up in price in terms of specials to make this as easy as possible but i think for me as long as you get that striker i think you've got it absolutely made for good if you are looking to do it without the striker just as a quick comparison i would suggest kind of who have we got so we go with striker i would be looking at potentially I see this is why I went for a left wing in left forward, to be honest. There isn't actually that many, to be fair. I'm trying to think of who I would actually use. Is there any in centre forward? Uh, to be fair, oh man, he was he was incredible as well before. I would probably go with a left wing in left forward. I'd be looking at Everton like I was, or be looking at maybe like someone like a Oh, Quesma 77. Maybe going for this. Oh, no, it was this guy instead, Pedro. I'd be looking at him and just whacking him as a striker for now if you can't get this striker done. But I think he will make your life a hell of a lot easier. So that is all you've got to do. I would suggest just building your Liganos team, whacking that silver bench on, and then obviously just double checking what objectives you need to actually do. Um, but we do have a little double check before we end the video just to make sure I can kind of give you the most advice as possible to get them done. Should be relatively straightforward if you do go one down i personally just quit it really doesn't matter that much um people do tend to do golden goal um so yeah so score using a premier uh, league of portugal if you've got a full team jobs are good and you score you've done one if then you assist perfect you've done another one all you've got to do that is four times finesse always try and get the opportunities i would suggest probably scoring first and then or at least if you've not got an opportunity to finesse, but you know you can score if you hit it first time, hit it first time. Get the goal in first because finesses you can always get if they don't leave. You've got a bit of a better chance to obviously settle yourself and get more of a finesse. And then finally just win four. It should be that easy. So hopefully you did enjoy the video. Let me know down below if you're going to be completing him. Make sure you do like and subscribe on this. I will leave a link in the end screen in a second to the prior video, which obviously was the Liga Portuguese Foundation and also the Air Division one as well. Bar from that, take care, like and subscribe. Peace.